It takes months of hard work, care, and good decision making to grow a profitable canola crop. And the job doesn't end when the crop is in the bin. The value of your delivery depends not just on grade and price, it also depends on how much dockage is in your canola. Dockage matters because stems, pods, and other foreign material are cleaned out of canola before the seed is processed into oil and meal. Clean canola helps processors maintain quality standards and allows for oil to be extracted efficiently. At licensed elevators, a representative sample is collected from every truck, and dockage is cleaned out and assessed according to the process outlined in the Canadian Grain Commission's official grain grading guide. The more dockage there is in a truckload, the less canola it contains. It pays to understand dockage, what it is, how it affects your bottom line, and how these costs can be managed. So how does dockage affect your bottom line? Let's break it down. Let's assume you're delivering a truckload with a gross weight of 40 tons. Every 1% of dockage would reduce the net weight of canola in the delivery by 0.4 tons. If canola was selling for $500 a ton, 1% of dockage would reduce the value of the truckload by $200. The higher the percentage of dockage in a delivery, the less that truckload will be worth. When you consider the impact on your entire crop, you can see that dockage can make a big difference. Here are some basics and common questions when considering dockage. So, what is considered dockage? In the official grain grading guide, dockage is defined as the material that must be removed using approved cleaning equipment before a grade can be assigned. It's material like stems and pods, straw, other grains, fine broken seed, and weed seeds. In canola, dockage also includes conspicuous admixture. This is material that cannot be easily cleaned from canola because it's roughly the same size and shape as canola seed. It might be weed seeds from cleavers, lamb's quarters, or hemp nettle. It's conspicuous, meaning it can be easily distinguished from canola by the naked eye. There are specific tolerances for conspicuous admixture within canola grades. For example, in number one canola, a maximum of 1% is allowed. The amount of conspicuous admixture is considered during both the dockage assessment and the grading process for canola. Are small canola seeds considered dockage? It depends on whether the small seeds remain in the canola sample after it's been assessed for dockage. If the sample is cleaned using appropriate sieves and some of these seeds are removed, then yes, they are considered dockage. However, in some years, there may be a lot of small canola due to hot, dry weather conditions. These small seeds may still be considered sound. If too many small seeds are captured in the dockage, a sieve with smaller openings may be selected to reduce the amount of small seeds falling through. Choosing sieves is a balance of minimizing loss of sound canola and limiting conspicuous admixture to meet the grade tolerance. Are there limits to dockage content? You may have heard that canola is considered commercially clean if it has no more than 2.5% dockage. If that's the case, should cleaning fees be waived if dockage is below that level when delivering to a licensed facility? The term commercially clean is primarily relevant at port and when outbound vessels are inspected by the Canadian Grain Commission. When canola is inspected at port, it is considered commercially clean if it has no more than 2.5% dockage and meets the requirements set out in the official grain grading guide. When canola is delivered from the farm to a licensed elevator, there is no legal limit on the amount of dockage permitted. The process for assessing dockage and determining net weight is the same, regardless of the dockage level. Overhead costs like cleaning are built into the basis and are not a direct charge to farmers. They're part of the grain company's normal business expenses when preparing shipments for end-use customers. There are several ways to manage the impact of dockage on your farm's bottom line. It begins in the field with good crop management, weed control, harvest, and handling practices, and it continues right up to when you sell your canola. When you're ready to deliver your canola, you can discuss dockage, grade, and price with several grain elevators or processors before deciding where to sell. You can also use advanced assessments of grade and dockage as a marketing tool. These tools include the Canadian Grain Commission's Harvest Sample Program, which is free to farmers. And when you deliver your truckload of canola to a primary elevator, you can ask to watch the dockage assessment process. It's your legal right as a farmer. 
if you have concerns about the assessment done at the time of delivery to a licensed primary elevator, you can seek a binding assessment from the Canadian Grain Commission. This option is called Subject to Inspector's Grade and Dockage. Many other resources are available to help you manage dockage and understand your rights and responsibilities as a farmer. To learn more, visit knowyourgrade.ca.